hello. Hi, hi, hi. Welcome, everybody. It's been a minute since I've been live here. How are you all? Looking forward to having this conversation with you all. If you are there, do say hello so I can say hello back. That would be so wonderful. I'm going to just ooh, try and let everyone know that I'm live. Where in the world are you tuning in from? All type and talk at the same time. Oh dear, some typos there. Let's sort those out. Where in the world are you tuning in from? Is this your first live that you're catching? with me or have you been in my world for a while? I'd love to know who's here, whether you're joining us live or on the replay as well. I know that this is a, a surprise live. I was really feeling um, the inspiration to come in and talk about the up level today. And so excited to see who joins me, whether it is for the, for the live or for the replay so that we can carry on the conversation. Because one of the things that I have learned working with so many entrepreneurs and coaches and helping them to break through their upper limits in life and business is everybody is wanting to create more, more freedom. So I really want everybody to walk away really embodying that you can create anything that you desire. Everything you desire is already here for you, that you are in the process of creating your next up level. It is done. It is done. It is done. The up level is here. You're creating it now, oh, which is just so exciting. So being able to be, do you know what? I can have it all. I can help more clients have the results that they desire. I can receive the income that I desire whilst working less. So many of us can get caught up with thinking it's been so hard to get to this point. Therefore, our subconscious decides it's going to be harder to get to that next point where actually what we can create and what I know that most people desire is to be able to grow their businesses and to have balance and harmony in all areas of their life. Hello, hello. Hi, Comfort. Hi, Mandy. Hi, Betty. Oh, so good to see you all. Everything is created in the whole. This is universal law. So if you desire it, yay, <laughs> you just have to call it in by becoming a vibrational match and so bringing yourself into resonance with it. So this is where we can focus on the on the 5D, so that's the alignment, the manifesting, the vibration, and then using the, the 3D vehicle of marketing and the business model that you have to make it inevitable, to make it inevitable with ease. And when you have the vehicle for the manifestation to be inevitable, what happens is your confidence absolutely explodes. If you're watching this and you're joining us on the replay, please do say hello. You could use the hashtag I've got this and I know you're on the replay and I can come back and say hello to you. Because one of the things is that I recognize and, and let me know if this resonates for you is that we all want to be able to fulfill our, our mission, our purpose, the purpose of our business, which is to expand and to grow and to serve more clients, to have a thriving business that is fulfilling. However you do that in your business. And here's the thing, after initial growth and success, I do see a lot of people burning out and then people can start to question if they've got the, the capacity to, to grow their business more, if they have the capacity to hold more clients. Well, they haven't thought about that, if they've got the capacity to hold more clients, if they've got the capacity to hold more money. Does this resonate? You're thinking, yes, if you were to ask yourself those questions, have I got the capacity to hold more clients? Have I got the capacity to hold more money? And actually, when I start to think about growing my business, does it feel safe for it to grow exponentially? Because what can happen is programs can kick in like, if I'm going to earn more money, then I'm, I'm going to have to work harder and I'll have less time. So it can feel like there's going to be a sacrifice. Or it can feel like I've just, I just haven't got the energy to grow my business. Yet the pull of our soul to make the bigger impact is pulling us in that direction. So we've got this push-pull going on with our different levels of consciousness. Of course, we don't want to trade serving more clients with having less time with our family or having an impact on our health because we're working all the hours. 
We want to have that balance and that freedom. So question for you, on a scale of one to 10, with one being not at all and 10 being, I'm 100% confident, I'd love to know where are you on that scale in terms of how confident are you that you will hit your business goals? Your clients will have the results and you'll have the revenue that desire and have the balance and harmony in life, in all areas of your life for, for the, this year and for moving into 2023. So on a scale of one to 10, how confident are you that you will hit your business goals, your clients will have the results that you promise, you'll have the revenue that you desire and you have the balance and the harmony in your personal life and business. Let me know in the comments where, where you are. Let's see where everybody's at today. Because of course this number can change with things that go on in our businesses, things that go on in our personal lives. So just use this as a quick, quick check-in. Where am I? And what's the gap between where you are, whatever number that you have shared, and number 10. So if you are, say you said, oh, do you know what, I think I'm a seven. <laughs> or I think I'm an eight. Or maybe you're thinking, oh, do you know what, it feels really far away at the moment. I feel like uh, it's a four. So this is, this is just like a, um, without judgment, it's just like, where am I right now? Okay, what's the gap? So we can change that belief close the gap, start to close the gap. What's the hesitation or the resistance? This can bubble up. Is there a belief leap? By that, I mean when it can feel like it's too much of a jump because it's outside of your current identity. So we create everything from our identity. So is there a belief leap? What's the gap? Because the gap is creating a bigger delay between where you are now and then where you want to be so I'm just inviting you just to take a moment to think okay so what is the program or the niggle that's preventing me from flourishing and thriving and blooming and feeling that momentum moving forward does it feel like you're breaking through to the next level a little bit like a nervous tulip I love tulips, they are so beautiful. And they're a sign of the seasons changing for me, first sign of, of spring in my garden. So for any gardeners out there, let me know in the comments if you like gardening. I love my garden and I love that my neighbor loves gardening. <laughs> and so she takes care of my garden and makes it look amazing because she knows what works and she's like, she's an artist. So my garden is like a, beautiful landscape um, that she's painted with bulbs and flowers and plants and all the things so if you're a, a gardener this one may resonate because you know bulbs are planted at different times of the year some in winter and they will lie dormant in winter and then as the bulbs start to push through that hard winter soil so in the UK where I am it's getting cold now we're, we're moving into that time of the year so they're doing all the foundational work and then just as they're about to break through you start to see them peek up <laughs> peek up their little heads above the soil their environment is changing from soil to air it's unfamiliar but they don't draw back they continue because everything that was needed for that next up level was already there inside of them inside that bulb meaning that they can thrive there so the tulip continues growing and then the new environment, the warmth of the sun, the rain, all creates the perfect conditions for that growth. The thing is that we can get stuck in fear-driven stories that prevent us from flowing into periods of, of growth and creating beautiful results. And it is our fear-based programs that then prevent us from growing, whether it's growing to the, the first 10K months milestones, whether it's to the first 100K year milestone, whatever, everyone's got their ideal revenue um, amount in, in their mind, whether it's, you know, as a, as a path, a milestone along a path to a bigger goal, first 250K, first 500K. Hello, everybody who's joining us. The first seven figures, whatever your milestone is. And this is the thing, every expansion requires an identity upgrade, new paradigms, new vibrational attraction point. 
you just need the support, the tools, the, the access to the resources to change your perspectives. You can say goodbye to the, the entrepreneurial hamster wheel. So like the tulip's got everything inside it and then has the environment, the sun, the warmth, the rain, the soil for it to grow. The right environment for us as entrepreneurs is having the business model, the aligned business model. The sun, the warmth, the rain, the soil is our marketing, working with our soul aligned clients, being supported with the right resources, having the right team on board, having the coaching so that we can shortcut our pathway to success. Because when we're working with coaches, we're leaning on their expertise and their experience and all the mistakes that they've made. I have failed forward, <laughs> you know, being able to learn from where they've gone before us. All of that coming into our environment to support us, the tulips, so that we can flourish and grow. So we're not having to put loads of effort into marketing and product development for it not to produce the results that we intended. Or whether it's spending hours and hours on a sale call, sales calls without being able to help somebody say yes to themselves. So that we're not going down that rabbit hole of exhausting ourselves in trying to figure things out on our own, develop our, develop our skills painfully. And I know when, um, as part of my journey, when I was running, so my business model used to be running um, a recorded webinar to a sales call, that funnel. That could be the reality that you were taking people on their buying journey um, within a 45 to 90 minute uh, conversation. So they'll have watched you for about an hour, then they'd be like intrigued and want to find out more. Come and jump on the sales call. The reality is the average conversion across the uh, profession was around 10%, which is absolutely brutal. And after many hours listening to people, of course, you can then, you know, you then get better, better at identifying who's the right person to work with you, who you'd love to help as you're talking to them. Because I never used to invite, I wouldn't invite everybody to come and work with me. It's, it, you're using your discernment to find out who's the right person so that you can decide whether you want to work with them and you know whether you can actually help them or not. And then over time, of course, the conversion rate would, in, you know, increase to 20%, 30%. But it's those learning curves that can feel very, very painful. Let me know if you've had a, a painful learning curve in your business so far. Or perhaps you've had a, you've worked on a, a webinar for, for months yourself and then it didn't have the results you desired or doing five day masterclasses only for it to produce you know, a fraction of the results that you'd hoped for. And all this focus is on, of course, is on that bit before you're actually getting to do the thing that you love doing, which is working with your clients or creating your art or sharing your talk, whatever it is, whatever your purpose is, your, your thing is. I'd love to know what's your, what's your business. I know we've got lots of coaches here. Are you a coach? Are you an entrepreneur? Are you an artist? Let me know in the comments what your, what your business is. I'd love to get to know um, a little bit about you if I don't know you already. And this is the thing. It starts to create we respond to what we're seeing in our environment, this feeling of pushing that wheel around and doubting if we're ever going to break through to that next level can start to feel exhausting. And then what can start to happen, I just wonder if you notice this, is it has an impact on your self-confidence and trust. And of course, then that impacts how we then show up. So the other question, we were talking about this in, I'm running a, a program at the moment called 10K um, in 30 days. And I asked the, our clients in there, I said, what would happen if you did sign up all the clients you're intending to, to come in over the next 30 days? So let's say it's five clients or 10 clients. It's going to be you know, different for different people. Have you got everything in place to take care of them without burning yourself out? Can you work with them, stay focused in your zone of genius without contracting, feeling overwhelmed and feeling like your capacity is full because then that creates this roller coaster in our income. If we haven't got the foundational pieces set up so that we are fully supported to enable us to receive a beautiful influx of clients, 
without fearing burnout or fearing the money's going to suddenly disappear or whatever the subconscious is going to throw at us because it will and then this can start to create a roller coaster in income because we start to kind of expand and contract expand and contract does this resonate and the fear of burnout I think is the biggest contraction that I've seen for entrepreneurs and coaches who are growing growing to six figures and multi six figures and beyond let me know have you had a burnout ever or perhaps you know other people that have had had burnout because our subconscious will pull on all previous evidence and illusions to try and keep us safe. It's not gonna want us to be you know, courageous stepping forward to that next up, next up level if there's an underlying fear that you're gonna to have to work really, really hard to receive more money. The question that I always invite my clients to consider is, is how can it be easy? How can I be supported? Because that really opens up your, your mindset and allowing yourself to approach Approach things in an expansive way. How can I free up where I'm spending my time so I trust myself and the activities that I'm taking to grow my business and be able to have that faith and certainty in my results? There are things, of course, that we're all going to face along our journey, along our learning curves, and they're going to be different at different phases. So if you are getting started, so I call this the getting started to creating momentum phase. So think of this as your up to 100K a year in revenue, just so you've got an idea of uh, where you may sit within that. So this can feel completely overwhelming because you're learning so much. You might be in that space of tuning into all the resources and you're listening to your coach. You don't know what you don't, don't know. And it's exciting and scary and you're doing everything. You're learning about your ideal client, about systems and websites and creating your services and programs. And then you know, every penny is reinvested back into the company. You're learning more and more, investing in your first programs as you begin to learn about alignment and business and starting to bring in a VA for support. And it can feel hard. You know, people can feel exhausted. So it is really important to manage your natural rhythms so that you have that balance and harmony in your life whatever stage you're in so that you can enjoy it actually enjoy the journey are you enjoying your journey i really hope so and being in the energy of curiosity of well let's try this let's let's test it and see the key mistake i see people making here is focusing on the wrong stuff and the most important thing that we can do is building relationships talking to people networking seeing how you can help people and who you can introduce to who, leading with that go-giver energy, inviting people to work with you and just simply doing this over and over and over again. And as you're leading with this, this then informs your brand, you have become more, you, you build a deeper relationship with your ideal client. You know what they sound like, you know when you're speaking to your ideal client and it all informs your messaging and your content. And then you have the period when you've hit your first six figures and you're growing to that 250K a year revenue phase where you're profitable, your time is taken up by different aspects of your business. So this is where you have to have and get more foundations in place. You can grow moving forward, building a team around you so you've got support, so you can serve more clients. And there may be a period of time where your costs will go up before your income goes up. So if you're here, huge congratulations. This is a fabulous milestone. And sometimes it can feel like you may be taking a step back before you propel forward. This is known as the, the breakthrough. It's just on that other side. This is all part of creation and growing a sustainable business. And because your time is being taken up with delivery, you may start to notice places where you or, you know, if you've got a VA or an OBM have become a bottleneck. So it's time to review so that you can expand and grow. It really is key to get the foundations in place, to have the structures in place so you can have that sustainable growth and not to be afraid to review things. And so as you're shaping this, you can have that confidence in your results. Relationships are key at all levels of business. And here, being able to network with 
fellow entrepreneurs who've done it and are on the same journey as you. Some of them are going to be behind you on the journey. Some of them will be ahead. And always, you will learn from each other. You're in a space to share audiences with each other so you can cross-refer to each other, to share ideas, to sh share inspiration in terms of systems and support each other. It's ab absolutely key. But you do need the both the, the 5D, the alignment, the vibrational frequency, your human Wi-Fi, as you hear me talk about all the time. So your consciousness being a vibrational back match to what which to that which you desire. And then the 3D, so the business model and the marketing in place. So this is your, your vehicle and your solution. This makes manifestation inevitable. And when you can have both, you can fully embody. I can create everything that I desire and everything is already here for me. Have you got your, your vehicle and your solutions in place and all your foundations in place to support you so that your manifestation is inevitable? Because when we are embodied in our self-trust and confidence, we can that's when we can truly allow the balance and the harmony in our personal life. That's what I find and I see with my clients as well, so that we can then have the everything we desire, the health, the relationships, the time, precious time with our the ones that we love. I do I believe that energy alignment and finding peers on the same journey as you is absolutely critical to eliminating the anxiety, avoiding making the wrong decisions whilst you're in that space of creating sustainable growth. So I do highly recommend joining a mastermind group if you haven't already, because you're going to see others around you on, your, on the same journey as you having, you see them having success. You start to be able to, as you're celebrating their success, recognize that you're on the same journey. Those are those, it's going to be you sharing that success soon. You see your future steps in the now moment it's a beautiful thing learning from others on the journey and you know learning your areas of development and in this space you can truly see that what you desire is here now it's already done and your self-trust gets confident you know get you get more confident with your self-trust it's stronger so much stronger and as your self-trust and confidence gets stronger, the vibrational alignment with the reality that you desire gets stronger and stronger. So you're strengthening that. Grand rising, yes. I'd love to hear your light bulbs, things that you're reflecting on. What, what's landing for you as you're listening, listening to this? Because we, we truly, we do rise together. And so being able to be in that, that vortex is so, so powerful. So who here has it been in business for years? I'd love to know. Where are you just getting started in your business? It, are you under one year? Are you under 10 years? Have you been in business for 20 years? Where, where on your entrepreneurial journey are you? And for those of you that are catching the replay, would love to see what's landing for you as well. or we'll circle back later and uh, join in the conversation in the comments too. And for those of you that would like my help and uh, mentoring and guidance so that you can wrap up 2022 in style and as you mean to start 2023, then do reach out to me and ask for my newest invitation to come and join us in the Infinite Prosperity Collective or IPC, as we as we call, call our, um, the programme affectionately. IPC is having an upgrade. I'm so excited about this. I've got all the info in a very unfancy Google Doc for you. Um, so when you reach out, we'll have a, have a chat in Messenger and we can take it from there. Alrighty, my friends, thank you so much for joining me today. Remember, everything you desire, it's already here. You can create anything that you desire. The up level is here. Sending you lots and lots of love. Till next time, take care. Bye-bye.